Have you ever wondered how pilots and air traffic controllers communicate effectively? What if I told you that the secret lies in a special alphabet? This is called the aviation alphabet, also known as the NATO phonetic alphabet. It is a system used to spell out words in a way that is easy to understand, even when the radio signal is weak or noisy. Besides going through all the letters, I'll show you a 10-step program on how to transmit your message perfectly without ever being misunderstood. Why can't we just say letters as they are, for example, A as A or P as P and so on? Let's take, for example, letters B and P. If you cannot hear the very first part of the sounds on those words and only hear the E in the end, you cannot be absolutely sure which one is it. Another similar pair is T and C, also V and E, A and K. How about M and N? Those can be tricky ones. If you think about it, in the English language, a lot of the words have quite similar sounds in them, which increases the possibility for confusion. And that is the one thing we don't want in aviation. Sometimes even the smallest details can make a difference between a completely safe traffic situation and a chain of events that can escalate into a catastrophe. To avoid this confusion disaster, we need this aviation alphabet, the solution for all airborne communication issues. Each English letter is assigned a word so that the letters can be spelled out clearly and effectively. These words were chosen for their distinct sounds and the ease with which they can be recognized. All of the words are quite different from each other to minimize the possibility of confusion. And here is the whole collection of alphabet represented by the words. Alpha. Bravo. Charlie. Delta. Echo. Foxtrot. Golf. Hotel. India. Juliet. Kilo. Lima. Mike. November. Oscar. Papa. Quebec. Romeo. Sierra. Tango. Uniform. Victor. Whiskey. X-ray. Yankee. Zulu. And here's how they are used. Doan traffic, Skyhawk 405 Echo Romeo, taxiing to runway 5 via Alpha Doan. Now that we've covered the basics, there are some key points to remember about the aviation alphabet. Firstly, it's not just for controllers and pilots. The aviation alphabet is used by the military and even emergency services to communicate clearly and effectively. Secondly, the aviation alphabet is a universal language. It's used all over the world regardless of the native language of the pilots or air traffic controllers. This makes it a vital tool for global communication. And here are my 10 tips for the perfect transmitting technique. Keep these in mind to be always heard loud and clear. Number one. Before transmitting, listen out on the frequency to ensure that there will be no interference with somebody else trying to transmit. Number two, use a normal conversational tone and speak clearly and distinctly. Number three, maintain an even rate of speech not faster than 100 words per minute. When you know that parts of your message will be written down by the receiver, speak at a slightly slower rate. Number four, maintain the speaking volume at a constant level. Number five, a slight pause before and after numbers will assist in making them easier to understand. Number six, avoid using hesitation sounds such as er, eh, ah, um, or other unnecessary distracting sounds. Number seven, be familiar with the microphone operating techniques. If you are using a handheld microphone, hold it at a correct distance from your mouth. Number eight, when using a handheld microphone, stop speaking temporarily if it becomes necessary to turn your head away from the microphone. Number nine, push the push to talk switch fully before speaking and do not release it until the message is completed. This will ensure that the entire message is transmitted. Number 10, the transmission of long messages should be cut into bite-sized pieces. It is a lot easier to receive and retain just a couple of bits of information. Think of it this way. Someone says a four-digit number to you. You are more likely to repeat it correctly back than an eight-digit number. 
Now you're armed with the knowledge of the aviation alphabet and the secret to clear communication in the skies. So the next time you're chatting with air traffic control or your fellow pilots, remember to speak the language of Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and beyond. And if you ever find yourself in a pickle, just remember when in doubt, spell it out.